All right, everybody, back at it for workout two. So this workout is similar to last week's second workout in that we're gonna go through with dumbbells and our orange bow, I mean our orange band, um, mostly a mix of added resistance exercises with some body weight mixed in. So you do need a pair of dumbbells. Exercise number one is gonna be our dumbbell step curl to front squats. So we did front squats last week. We're just adding a step to them. So I'm gonna step forward. As I step forward, swing them on up into that curl and sit into that front squat and then step back. Switching legs, step and curl, front squat, step back. All we're really doing with the step, adding a little bit of instability to this move, but also it's giving us an opportunity to use a little bit of momentum to swing those weights up just a little bit, which adds a little bit of weight as you drop down. So try to connect that as much as you can. Swing them up, use that weight to help you sit, kind of like we do the double squat with the kettlebell. Exercise number two is our plank row. So dumbbell in our plank position, abdominals pulled in nice and tight, keep the feet a little bit wider than you normally would, so you've got a nice base of support here. And then I'm going to row out of that one side. Row, release, row, release. I want you to tap the ground every time. This is not a stay in the uh, plank and just pump. Make sure it's a full range on that row. Really try to focus on keeping the hips nice and flat and not allowing one side to shift up as you pull. So left and right on that. Then we're going to go to our orange band. We're going to tie that band real quick around the ankles. Nothing too crazy tight, just a little bit of resistance. I'd make sure you tie it in a bow because it's a lot easier to get off quickly. So we're going to roll back and we're going to take your feet wide. So we've activated our outer thigh muscles and our outer hip muscles by pressing out. Arms behind the head and we're going to take an alternating crunch. So I'm going to reach left hand to the outside of my right foot and then right hand to the outside of my left foot. You'll quickly notice as you go that trying to maintain the exact same spot on your V is really hard. Your feet are going to start bouncing in and out, so you're really going to have to focus on keeping the hips squeezed and holding that perfect V. All right, now we're back on our feet for our third week in a row of our kettlebell double squat or our dumbbell double squat. So this is just a quick reminder. We take one squat down, we stand fast, elbows come high, catch that kettlebell in another squat. If you have dumbbells, you take that first squat, you quick curl them up, catch them into your second squat. Next is a dumbbell curl and press in a split stance or a single leg. So this is your opportunity based on your balance ability right now to add a little bit more uh, challenge if you want. So split stance just means that feet are separated, railroad tracks, so they're not tightrope, railroad tracks, a little bit of a bend but your weight is centered between both feet. So I'm not just standing on my front leg. Weight centered, we're taking curl, overhead press, and back down. Curl, press, and back down. If you would like to add a little bit more balance challenge, then you're gonna take a single leg hold. Curl, press, back down. On this one, you can switch legs halfway, or you can choose to do one round on the right leg, the next round on the left leg, completely up to you. Next, the last one on this block, is back with our orange band. We have a curtsy lunge with an overhead pull down. So the overhead pull down is the one that we use in our upper body band workout where we pull down and back. Remember the most important thing on this one is that the shoulders are away from the ears. So it's down and back, rather than that position where we're hugging our ears the whole time. So shoulders down, open, 
and back up. So we are doing it in a curtsy lunge. So I'm going to curtsy lunge, arms are going to be up, pull down, back up, switch sides, curtsy lunge, down, and up. Again, just like a lot of our exercises lately, we're focusing on spending more time in the lunge or squat or curtsy position. So stay down, nice focus on our range of motion, and then good form on those band exercises. All right, as many rounds as you can on that one. No, I'm sorry, set number of rounds. But do your best to focus on your quality, not your quantity. So take your time, make sure the moves themselves are good and strong. All right, block two and block three are similar. They are timed ATAC, so as many times as you can or as many rounds as you can. The first two exercises, push-up and tuck-ins, just like we always do. You can do the, the tuck-ins from flat all the way stretched out, or you can do them from balanced on your glutes. Either way, seven and seven. So seven strong push-ups, roll it over, seven strong tuck-ins. Block three, you're gonna take seven sumo jump squats and then seven alternating mountain lock climbers. So the only difference on those jump squats from last week is that we've got our feet wide, toes turned out a little bit. So our jump squat is from that nice wide position. Big reach, back down, big reach, back down. Seven, and then we're dropping right down into those mountain climbers again. Knees to the front, you can hop them as long as the hips are not in a pike. So hips down, drive those knees forward. All right guys, that is your workout. Do your best, have a great time, and I will see you for workout three.